Not only did President Trump refuse to tell the mob to leave the Capitol, he placed no call to any element of the United States government to instruct that the Capitol be defended. He did not call his Secretary of Defense on January 6th. He did not talk to his Attorney General. He did not talk to the Department of Homeland Security. President Trump gave no order to deploy the National Guard that day, and he made no effort to work with the Department of Justice to coordinate and, and deploy law enforcement assets. But Vice President Pence did each of those things. For example, here is what General Milley, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, testified to this committee. There were uh, two or three calls with Vice President Pence. He was very animated, and he issued very explicit, uh, very direct, unambiguous orders. There was no question about that. And, and, he was, and, and, and I can get you the exact quotes, I guess, from some of our records somewhere, but he was very animated, very direct, very firm uh, and to Secretary Miller. Get the military down here, get the guard down here, put down this uh, situation, uh, et cetera. By contrast, here is General Milley's description of his conversation with President Trump's Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, on January 6th. He said, um, we have, we have to kill the narrative that the Vice President is making all the decisions. Uh, we need to establish the narrative that, um, you know, that the President is still in charge and that things are steady or stable or words that effect. I immediately interpret that as politics, 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 uh, red flag for me personally, no action, but I remember it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.